Monthly G Bailey, and welcome back to Let's Play Zeno Gears! Let's take a look around the Ave Desert and see if we can find Satan around here. So, like I was saying in the previous episode, if you walk around the desert for too long, you get into this area that would usually go on infinitely. But now that the plot, or now that the invisible plot wall has gone away, we can take a look around for Satan. And this won't be, or this won't go on infinitely. Well, take a look around. I mean, he is on a motor vehicle, but yeah, might as well. Sounds like a plan. Let's see, how are we doing on levels here? Hmm, I'd like to get up to level 10 before I get to the next event, but if I can't, it's not a big deal. Just want to get my next death blow if I could. And here we've got another new enemy, Sand Sharks. These guys can kill your physical accuracy. So I like to use my fierce attacks early on before they actually do that. You'll know when the, they've done it when you see the accuracy down indication there. So now let's keep you, let's go on with my strong attacks so that way well, I'll actually be able to hit them for a change. Unfortunately, they do have a little bit of evasion themselves, in addition to the accuracy reduction there. So it can be... it can take a while to take these guys down. I could have bought some items that could clear that status, but they would just inflict it on you over and over and over again. So I wouldn't just keep on going on forever like that. So you're better off just using your more accurate strong attacks sometimes and every now and then maybe throw in a fierce attack so you can keep working on those death blows there. Alright, got it. I could have just used my weak attacks to take out those guys. They would have been a bit more accurate. But I don't really need to work on my weak attacks for my death blows. So I only use them if I'm already doing a fierce attack and I've got nothing better to do. Alright, and after that battle I gained a level and I could use some healing. I don't have a healing ability yet, so let's just use the Aquasols. I'd rather save the Hob Jerkies to sell later on. We just haven't met up with the merchant who will buy all these premium items until later in the game. Oh, we got scales, too. I think that was from the, the last boss fight. I forgot about that. But, alright, we're doing pretty good. So, let's follow those gears, or keep following them. Let's see, I believe... Let's see, we need to go through three screens to get to the next major event we got coming up here. It seems like I lost him, though. Well, what's going on? Is that that airship from before that we were seeing, or whatever it was called? It's a Squaresoft game. Of course it's an airship. Instead of some other made-up term. Well, what's that? We're being attacked by pixels! Nah, well, we're not being attacked, but... Well, what's that place? Maybe that's what Ellie meant when she said we were surface dwellers. I just assumed she was from, I don't know, like an underground society or something. I mean, literally underground. Ah, there's those gears. Okay, I guess it's only two screens that I need to go through. For some reason I thought I needed to go through a third screen in order to... Well, get to the next part. So let's keep on going after those guys. Okay, I think I'm a little off screen. Oh, okay, there is a third screen to go through. Okay, never mind then. All right, and after that battle, I, yeah, I actually did get up to level 10 here. Hooray! And when you do that... You learn inner healing. So we got our own healing spell now. I don't need to use items anymore for that. And let's see. As a result of getting up to level 
10, we also get access to our fifth a or AP to spend per round. So we learn Senretsu, and I've already got the the third death blow because I was just having a really hard time hitting those uh, sand sharks there. So that can help us out a bit. Let's see. For the next death blow, we need 130 T1 moves, 100 T2 moves. 50 T3 moves, and 75 X moves. So it's going to be a while before we get there. Usually I don't even have my third death blow done by now. But, well, I got a little, well, lucky and unlucky just because I couldn't hit those sand sharks. But, okay, before moving on here, once you're on the third screen and you've fought a battle, I want to change my setup a bit. We want the Aether Stone to help boost, well, my Aether damage. And let's see, we got glasses and step shoes there that could help us out a bit we don't need uh, armor here for reasons that i will explain in just a moment but all right let's keep on going then or we could fight a new enemy here why not okay i wasn't planning on this but let's see we got other soldiers here so, let's see. Now that I've actually gotten that other death blow... Hmm. Okay, let's just focus on... Weak packs for now. See these guys? Yeah, they don't have too much HP. So, they should go down pretty easily to weak attacks there. Hmm. I'm thinking if I want to use a fierce attack here. Yeah, why don't we go for that? Let's go with a fierce attack and two weak attacks. I don't want to use the two weak attacks and then the fierce attack because that would be the Senretsu uh, death blow there that I've already learned. By the way, the Senretsu death blow, or whatever your second one is for any character, that corresponds to the TS death blow while you're in gears. So that'll help out a little bit here too. Ah, I thought I was close enough to the end of the third screen, but, well, I wasn't. But that's okay, I didn't take very much damage. Not that it really matters anyway. Well, wouldn't it be better to travel in the desert during the dark? I mean, if it's dark out, it would be, you know, a lot cooler. I would think, you know, traveling through the desert during the day, you know, you'd pass out from the heat. You're tougher than you look, Faye. Holy cow. Gears and saucers and motorcycles. Oh my. Whoa! What the hell are you doing, Faye? Borrow? I, I don't think so. Call me crazy, but I don't think stealing military property is a very good idea. Especially when they've got giant robots around just waiting for you. Or at least in the area. But I guess you got I guess Faye wants to find Sitan before it gets dark. Because it might be more difficult for him to find him or see him, but. I would think the buggy would have had some lights on it or something. Sam. Game? I heard something. Whoa! So it's gears we found or, or, or saw earlier. That's, that one looks pissed off. So does that one. Well, that's what happens when you steal one of their motorcycles. Well, they're the military. What did you expect? What? What the? Oh, hey! It's Veltal again. Well, that was fast. How'd you get the parts for that thing? So quickly. What's going what's going on then? 
And where did you, or how did you shoot those guys down? We don't even have a gun on this thing. I just use my fists. Okay, I'll get out of here. Run while you still can. Why do you say that? I don't know. I don't think they ever explain that. I mean, I'm guessing, at least from what few animes I've watched that have gears or mechs or whatever they're called in their respective anime, like, they get used to a certain person's, I don't know, ability or mental ability or whatever. Now, you might notice in the on the right side there where it says agility level, my agility is actually a bit lower here because we're in the desert. Certain terrains will lower the agility of your gears, so you want to watch out for that. Although, at this point in the game, there's nothing we can do about it, but later on, we can! Okay, so let's see. These guys, what do they got? They have very little agility. Let's see, they have 180 HP. So, let's see, I'm going to try and take out the other guy. Uh, now, the TS Death Blow also only requires one attack level to execute it. So, yeah, just perform one attack, TS, and then, boom, you kill one of them. Hooray! Let's see, this guy's almost dead. So, let's use a regular strong attack. Gets the job done. Saves a little bit on fuel there, too. By the way, the reason why I equipped Faye the way I did is because some stats, while you're on foot, carry over to while you're in gear. I know Ether and Ether Defense carry over. I'm not sure if Hit Percentage carries over. Supposedly it does, but it's so little it's hard for me to actually tell without actually hacking the game or taking a look at that stuff or anything so yeah i don't i'm not sure but we don't have anything better to do so we might as well just go with what we got who's there what are you looking at oh hey it's that guy he was from the attack earlier on lahan he seemed like he was Directing the other gears around or something. Well, I didn't exactly have a choice, dude. Who are you? Me? Right. I know you. You killed her. Her? No. It wasn't. Not me. I... You coward. It was you. Well, what was that all about? Oh. Um, yeah. Now well, that dialogue box cleared quickly. What an amazing name. <laughs> That's... How did you survive, anyway? I do like your gear's badass pose there, though. Okay. What mission? That's... Well... You made contact, all right! So you're the one behind all this. Well, I wasn't so powerless after all, huh? That seems... rather extreme. Couldn't you... I don't know, just knock on the door and, you know, make contact that way?
I like your headgear there, too. I just like his art design. Yeah, overkill much? Well, yeah, I want to destroy my enemies. Well, that's what everyone else is doing in this game. I didn't mean for that to rhyme with what you just said. Besides, I thought the power to destroy the village was in the gear. Well, of course, I knew that. This is a JRPG. What else would I do? Yeah, besides, I mean, you seem to be... Well, more in charge of the situation. How do you know him? Nuts. Man, this guy's just chock full of bad news. Yeah, you gotta grind the levels. No, actually, I will not be doing level grinding, or at least... Well, I have some other stuff that I'm gonna be doing, but... Well, you'll see. Like, I've already done some farming. And now we're combing the desert. Well, I would like to survive. That would be on my itinerary for the day. Or you could just stop sending people to kill me. Or, well, I mean, whatever that thing is you got there. Sandworm! I hate sandworms. I hate them so much. For boss time! Now this guy is actually very strong against physical attacks. So what I want to do is use my guided shot either to take him out. That's one of the reasons why I equipped the Easter Stone on Faye, because that'll increase the damage of this quite a bit. Not quite a Kamehameha wave, but we'll take what we can get. Now if you didn't remove the Ether Stone from Ellie to give to Faye. Don't worry about it. It's not absolutely critical. As you can see, this guy doesn't deal a whole lot of damage to us, so we'll be fine either way. But, well, it's just slightly more optimal to actually equip it, and that'll help out against this guy. Now, by the way, as far as stats like Ether that carry over to your gears, uh, your attack and defense stats do not carry over. But I think pretty much everything else does carry over. Which I suppose makes a little bit of sense. I mean, if you didn't have good reflexes on foot, you probably wouldn't have good reflexes on the controls of the gear to get out of the way. So I could understand that to some extent. And I don't know if they ever really explain this like a plot point, but uh, Gears have an Ether Amplification stat, so that's how you could deal a lot more damage with Ethers while you're in a gear than you could on foot. But alright, more levels! And another eyeball that we could sell for a little extra money. Hooray!
Well, we got a level graph. Is that powerful enough? Well, that worked out all right. Yeah, as you notice, the worm did not have very much HP there. Oh, well, it did. So we're all right. So can we just leave this thing here in the middle of the desert and go home? That's, well, that was fast. Nuts. Quick, get back in your gear and kick their ass again. Or we could just sit here and let them... Well, I don't know what they're going to do. I don't know why we don't just get back in the gear and fight them, but okay. So, where are we now? Oh, another kind of sand vehicle, like a sand ship or something or other. What happened to your buggy anyway, Satan? Maybe he already returned it, and then once he got Veltal working, and then he came over to find us. He should have did all that rather quickly, though. I mean, good. Well, it didn't end up good for us. So, what, did we get arrested or something? Let us join together. Magic Emperor Galleon, is that you? I never thought we'd meet again like this. It must be fate. How ironic. But I'll never let you have him. Who's that guy? Even if it kills me. Well, evidently it did. Nuts. Well, not much, I guess. I wonder what that was all about, anyway. Some kind of a flashback or something? But how would we know about that? Well, I guess he was there in the flashback. Or... Well, it looked like he was. I don't know. Hmm. Now we'll learn more about that later. Oh, okay. How would they even know about it, though? I mean, if it was top secret. But, well, I guess we're okay. Well, yeah, that would be a problem. I like this music. So ominous. Hmm. I wonder if Groth sabotaged Veltal there to intentionally force it to ground. I don't know. I don't think they ever say that or even imply that he did that. Or maybe he just told the other other soldiers to attack Veltal specifically. Yeah, I don't know. But, well, that's just something I always thought of. It's like, well, how could he possibly set all that up? I mean, I would think he would have had to sabotage Veltal in order to force it to ground or something. But how are we going to get out of this place anyway? Find out next time on Let's Play Xenogears! This is H.G. Bailey, signing off.
Have a good day.